All right. Angie's not quite done getting dirty yet. So, look at that. That's crap rust and stuff from inside that's already seeped out because I didn't do a real good job of sealing this this one up. Shake it up. So now, I took this one and I shook it upside down. Look at that. Look at all that rust. Um, did a better job of sealing it up. Right there, I've got a um, vacuum cap. And then I got these high temp masking fillers. Um, so far I've used them for when I'm cleaning so I don't get gunk in the wrong spots and you know what have you. So I'm gonna take this up and it's gonna get a couple of flushes with some vinegar just to wash out any gas that we can even though it's been dried out and got the oil and then fill it back up with some salt and some nuts or some bolts I mean no nuts yeah um, they'll that and the salt rolls back and forth in there and helps break up that rust on the bottom um, that's what's in here now you can see where the salt has kind of gotten away from me I'll wipe all that down I'm not too concerned about it because I'll get it wiped off right away and I plan on um, stripping these tanks eventually of their paint one of them not right away because one of them's going Whichever one turns out better is going to go back on the um, on the next QT. Looks like I should put a block down in here too, so it doesn't. I guess that doesn't really matter, does it? As long as it holds. So, <clears throat> um, also, I this was one of a kind that I had and with my different rubber stuff so I got to put this back in here and just so I don't get any salt or anything in the bubble of this cap I um, closed the two little dimple holes off there you know, so that'll go in like that but after we give her a good rinse oh man them suckers don't like to pop off and then just put the gas cap back on and try and treat that too and then this fatty here to plug that hole just like on that one now it's stuck on my finger the final treatment is the evapo rust and the way I'm gonna try and do this this will get flushed and put it, its second vinegar solution in this is getting its first solution in when this is ready for the evapo rust this one will be getting its second batch of um, the cheaper stuff in it to clean it. So when that one's done, I want to be able to dump the expensive evapo rust from here into here if it doesn't look too bad to help for a treatment. Because um, yeah, that stuff is that stuff is spendy, and you got to fill it all the way up. And it's a gallon here, so it'll fill almost that whole thing with a little extra to top it off as you go from shaking it and having some get out the breather holes. So I suppose I need to find a couple of nuts and bolts yet. First, we'll give her a good rinse, though, I think. I'll do another little video just for that.